Hello Pisces and welcome back to another reading with me, Soulful. How are you doing this lovely Monday? Okay, if I have any announcements, they're going to be at the end of the video, which I do believe I have one. Okay, all right, let's get into this. Pisces Collective. What does the Pisces Collective need to know today? We have Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. Coming to the end of something here with this Ten of Swords or needing to release something. Um, perhaps a betrayal. Mm. Okay, Pisces. So I feel right now it's very important to be a little bit more patient with yourself in this process. Whatever it is that you're trying to heal, that you're trying to let go of. Um, I feel as though there is something incredibly out of balance right now in your life. Yeah, as I said that, we got two pentacles. Okay, so yeah, whatever's going on in your life right now, you're releasing something. Somebody, uh, I keep seeing coconuts pop up. I keep seeing coconuts. Okay, that's weird. But maybe someone likes coconut lotion, I'm hearing. Coconut, something about coconuts. Um... You know, when when we're trying to release pain or release the ending of certain cycles, it can be very difficult if we're too busy trying, if we're going back and forth with the thoughts of it, it's it's causing an imbalance, okay, here that, that you've got going on with the temperance in reverse. Also Sagittarius energy here. But um we have to be careful not to find ourselves stuck in another cycle. And that cycle is deciding whether or not we should actually move forward. And I feel whatever is happening here, happening here, some of you are having trouble with this, okay? You're having trouble with deciding uh, either to let someone go, let a cycle go, uh, end something. Uh, you could be stuck as well with this temperance in reverse in a situation, okay? So before I go any further, let's go ahead and get some clarity here about these cards. I'm still waking up, so you have to you have to bear with me here, Pisces. I, I've been having a lot of crazy dreams. I've been going through some pretty interesting stuff in my life right now. <laughs> oh boy, you have no idea. Okay, so Ten of Swords in Reverse. Tell me about that, please. Tell me about Ten of Swords in Reverse. <laughs> Yep, this is what I thought. The tower. Okay, there's definitely a change here that um, has happened or something that needs to be released because of this. Hangman in reverse. Uh, Pisces, why are you stopping yourself? You know, that's that's what I want to know. Why are you stopping yourself? Um, sometimes we have to let certain things go because it does upset the balance in our lives. And I feel right now, whatever you know for sure is imbalanced okay uh don't don't become a martyr to this cause whatever it is okay we it's just it just feels to me um like a a really slow energy when i when i connect here with the cards and the heart center it feels like a really slow energy you're not allowing yourself to uh explore the possibility of letting something go out of your life i feel like you may be hanging on to a specific person <laughs> <laughs> a specific relationship excuse me as i said that we've got the three of swords here yeah there's some kind of um there, there's a heartbreak here that, that you're still hanging on to you haven't quite fully let go of it and it hurts i know it does okay i know this could have even been a betrayal with these two here but when we put ourselves in this hangman in reverse position it, it's no one else's fault but our own right and i'm not saying that you're a horrible person what i'm saying is are you placing yourself in this cycle are you keeping yourself from moving forward it's it's very imperative that you ask yourself this question sometimes okay tell me about temperance all right we have ace of pentacles so Two things here with the Ace of Pentacles and Temperance card. It kind of feels as though you may have received offers and you may have given offers back to this past situation here with the heartache. Um, and, and now you're impatient, okay? You, you may be impatient with the offers you're getting or you're giving, all right? We have King of Cups in reverse. 
there you are Pisces okay um, if you if you try to move forward and go into if you try to move forward and go into a space where you're giving offers and offering love and trying to receive love and get new relationships right but you have a king of cups in reverse here there's an emotional issue that needs to be addressed and it's definitely this heartache first you got to find yourself Pisces before you jump straight back into another relationship find yourself find the person you know what I mean What's that saying? I found me first and then I found you, you know, finding you made me find my, uh, finding me found you, <laughs> whatever, whatever the fuck. Right. Okay. Then we have, here it is again, nine of cups in reverse, you know, um, <coughs> you really want a new beginning. I can sense that Pisces, but I just feel the cards here are really speaking about you know, Pisces is a water sign, okay? And it doesn't mean that uh, Pisces is only in your sun sign. You could have Pisces in Venus. You could have Pisces in Mercury. You could have Pisces. You could have Pisces two or three other times in your chart, but wherever it affects your emotions, Pisces in your moon, especially if you have a um, moon sign, your moon sign is Pisces. This is really effective, this reading right now, because until you embrace, okay, the flow again, of what you're going to do with your emotions and not hold them back as much. Now, you obviously have a reason why you're holding back. But the hangman is is telling me 100% here that you're still holding back these emotions, okay? Because they're still here. They're still in the past. So I guess keep that into consideration if you're looking for new offers or you want a new offer. Uh, tell me about the two of pentacles. You have an option here with the two of pentacles to keep thinking about which way you want to go, or you can make a decision and just uh, move forward. Uh, it, it takes, it takes a bit of thought, but maybe you're thinking a little too hard about the past. So we have king of pentacles. So I feel like some of you, if you have, you may have an earth sign that you've actually tried to offer to. And if it's not an earth sign, this is you trying to get stable. Okay. This is you trying to, um, literally be in your element and this is probably helping distract you pisces from what's going on over here with all this heartache uh king of pentacles you know you're, you're focused on your stability right or you are currently focused on someone who has stability possible earth sign so let's see we have conflict here with the five of wands yeah you know <clears throat> inner conflict most definitely between uh stepping into your emotional center and uh, healing this situation here where your emotions are still kind of vulnerable. You're not really ready just yet. But here with the, with the five of wands, it's a, it's a conflict between, uh, I don't want to say head and heart. It's more like head and emotion, okay? And I think that you are definitely focusing on your material. And the more you focus on your material, the more this conflict kind of pops itself up. Let's get you one more here. We have the moon in reverse. Okay, more water energy here, uh, illusions. It's not quite clear just yet what it is that you want to do. But um, mm, drowning, okay, drowning yourself uh, in work, drowning yourself in the past uh, with the moon card here. There's, there's something here, Pisces, where I feel... There's a massive trigger point that has to do with this Three of Swords, something along these lines. Some of you feel as though you've been abandoned, okay, by source, by guides, by whatever, okay, whatever it is you believe in. I don't know what that is, but some of you feel abandoned, okay, and I think that that's because you invested in a past situation that changed so quickly and drastically that you haven't had the time to actually figure out how you feel about it okay with the tower card here you're still trying to figure it out so you know with the hangman in reverse i always think to myself uh are you becoming a victim to your emotional state or are you are you burying yourself in work are you trying to bury yourself in another type of relationship what is it that you're doing here because there is definitely a need to address something all right okay so let's take a look here let's get three more cards and then we're going to pull some oracle tell me about the hangman in reverse please tell me about the hangman in reverse 
Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you know, Pisces, like, <laughs> it's kind of funny because the hangman, right? He's upside down. Um, uh, in the hangman reverse, he's upside down. But like, uh, all these, <sighs> these burdens, these burdens of the past here have got to be let go of because I think they're definitely holding you back. Okay. They're definitely holding you back. 10, 10. There's an ending here that some of you are still clinging to. Let's go ahead and ask here about the temperance row. Tell me about this. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I can't say it any more plainly than this, but we're going to definitely explore this over on the extended. Um, you know, whatever... <laughs> whenever we get in this kind of molasses state, it can cause, I always get the wheel of fortune here. It, it can cause us to feel like life is unfair. The universe hates us, all this garbage. Okay. That something is, something is after us. You can create a complex. You can create a complex, like, um, everything is out to get me. There's no hope. There's nothing. What's the point? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. But here with the, with the wheel of fortune reverse, you can flip this energy and that's by making a different choice about how you're going to handle this past situation. Somebody here needs to really pay attention to that. Um, and I understand. I really do. Sometimes I come off as a hard ass, but I really do understand this. Okay. Tell me about the five of wands over here for Pisces. Tell me about the five of wands, please. Okay. Ten of cups in reverse. This inner conflict is actually causing less of a flow with your emotions and the abundance in your life that you're trying to actually create. This is what I'm hearing. Whatever you're trying to make here with the King of Pentacles, um, you know, the, the Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment as well. It's it's the happy rainbow, okay? But uh, you're, you're, this conflict is, is stopping this flow with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Ten of Cups. It's stopping this flow. So give yourself the space. Whatever it is you need to do, go go rent a cabin for a few days and freaking ball your eyes out, purge. Uh, give yourself the space to heal this heartache that happened with the tower here. I think that somebody really, really needs to hear that. So let's get you a couple Oracle cards. I'll wake up, I promise eventually. I do feel like some of you really want to offer love to someone or you have an offer coming in or it's kind of maybe delayed here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups in reverse. There may be a, t a slight delay. Okay, let's get some Oracle. What advice do we have here for Pisces? We've got hold your vision. Some of you really have something you're focusing on uh, deeply, work, a project, something like that. And I feel it's definitely helping you to avoid this issue, okay? Uh, we have, you are good enough. Oh, Pisces. Also Virgo energy. <sighs> I understand. Okay, you, you, this, this situation back here, I really do feel, I said earlier, like it was some kind of betrayal or somebody definitely, and I don't like saying that often with the 10 of swords card because it's, but I definitely feel it, it's hard to let go of. So whatever it was, and I'm going to explore this in, in the extended reading over on my Patreon page. Okay. Um, I feel whatever it was here, it's shocking still. It's still shocking you whatever it was, and now you're questioning yourself. You're questioning uh, what's happening, but you're good enough, okay? Because whatever happened here, Pisces, this is also your card here with the hangman in reverse. This is the martyr card as well, okay? And it's, it's someone who, it's a lot of bad thoughts. It's some, some even say uh, ideation, like suicidal ideation. And I'm not saying you're suicidal, but it's a very depressing place to be. And it's like when you watch the world outside just continue moving and you're just sitting there kind of going, what the fuck? Okay, it's like everything's in slow motion. One more. We have... You're very close to achieving your goal. Earlier I said some of you were, had something you're really working on heavy, and this is related, okay? So keep going for those of you that need to hear that, and we're going to get you one more card here. Let's get you an energy. 
Tell us one last piece of advice here for Pisces with the Energy Oracle deck. Last piece of advice. One last piece of advice. The thinking woman. All right. So the thinking woman is all about knowledge and uh it could even be another person in your life that has knowledge for you okay they want to share and teach pisces go within okay we got virgo energy in this i feel like it's related you got to get grounded honey all right so that you can actually approach how you're going to heal this past heartache this past situation because i definitely feel for you right now there is a little bit of a slowdown in your energy okay so read some books, go and study. It's also about higher learning. Some of you may be uh, learning specific things that are very specific to what you do, okay? But I do think that transformation out of this stage is very vital for you right now, Pisces. What we're going to do now is go ahead and explore this over on the extended on my Patreon page. Um, one quick announcement. I may be going on a trip starting Thursday and uh, I will be closing down my personal reads for the time that I am away. But don't worry, I'll still be doing uh, content. OK, I'll see you guys later. Bye.